so we are in Liege in Belgium it is quite different than what we thought Belgium is not so organized not as organized as the Netherlands but still we found a good parking spot so what can you say about Liege at first well uh, the etymology of the place Liege um, comes from the Germanic word for people, Liutzi, which is related to the Russian Liudi. And um, yeah, it's a city um, at the Meuse River with the Liege River or a similar Legia River, yeah. It was at first a Roman emplacement or in prehistoric times it was already inhabited. But um, then it really became a commercial stronghold. And later after the French Revolution and uh, in the modern era um, it became a very strong industrial area and now yeah it still has a lot of industry although yeah um, I think when I tell you that one quarter of the population is uh, unemployed I think that says everything about this place mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, something else of interest is that this city uh, was always very rebellious. It didn't like it did want to be part of France. Um, but uh, yeah, they had to fight for it and then they became part of the Netherlands for a short time. They rebelled against it again. They also rebuilt against the Burgundy, um, so it's really like they call it um, Cité Ardiente, so burning city, like very, um, I don't know, pushy or something, <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, but um, anyhow, it's a city that doesn't like stability. <laughs> somehow yeah it always changes hands <laughs> and here we have the biggest market of Europe it's on Sunday here in Liege it's three kilometers long so we're gonna check it out so this is how it looks at the market I think it's not a very wide market it's just long over three kilometers. I do need to be careful with filming because there are many drugged people and homeless people. But yeah, that's, by the way, that's uh, very typical from here. Uh, Gaufre Lijois, I think it's called. It cost us two euros. What's cinnamon? So let's do some training. We are at arguably the most famous spot in Liege. These are the stairs leading to the Citadel. Maybe you've seen it from other uh, vlogs from other people or uh, travel documentaries they go up the stairs and there's a view of the city and it's quite crazy we are just at the start and we are already feeling tired but it's great exercise you move your calves and your legs a lot oh my god so how much do we have left yeah. 
quite a bit <laughs> done this is lift from above <coughs> so the wafer the color is <coughs> already consumed so we're gonna drink a little rest a little and then we go to the museum of wallonian walloon life and this is apparently a monument to the 14th legion maybe from one of the wars yes so it's from world war one or oh, wait no from both wars 1914 and 1940 yeah. and this is the view of Liege over there you have the train station over there you have the train station uh, yeah and this here is the citadel of Liege so it's where Liege was standing in the past a fortified city protecting from invaders and attacks so we are on flat ground again and uh, we are done with those stairs it was crazy so much exercise and now we are gonna go to the museum of the Walloon life because it's a uh, it opens at half past nine and it's already half past nine so we're gonna check out how people in this region used to live so we are finally at the museum of uh, Walloon life um, <coughs> yeah they are very easy going we could keep our backpacks and the selfie stick and everything so that's a very easy going culture so this is meant to represent uh, Walloon life around the 19th century so this looks like a market with gossiping and um, yeah people selling stuff so the Walloon movement started around the 19th century 1880 more or less uh, as a reaction of the Flemish movement um, looking for a francophone so a French speaking identity inside of Belgium um, as you might know there's a Flemish region in Belgium which is Dutch speaking and then there's a French speaking region and then you have Brussels which is mixed you also have a small part of Belgium which is German speaking so all those languages and all those cultures um, live together with each other here in Belgium so it turns out that the Walloon region only exists since 1980 um, there were many Walloon movements uh, defending the French speaking part of Belgium and they had to fight a lot um, since the 19th century uh, then the 1930 um, they tried to influence some leaders of Belgium to create the region of uh, Wallonia but that didn't work out and then after the Second World War the Walloon movement radicalizes even more and uh, there are some kind of fights kind of battles with Flemish people in the years uh, 1960 something um, and that kind of pushes the government to do something and finally in 1980 the region of Wallonia is born and these are Walloon traditional objects for example here a bottle of some wine these sausages that clothing and you also have yeah I don't know 
those uh, wooden shoes so you might already know Belgian chocolate it's very famous Belgian fries and uh, yeah this also shows <coughs> kind of the economy of uh, Wallonia the industry that was here especially in Liège in Wallonia you also have some mining history so it was also part of the economy and uh, I'm not sure where exactly in Wallonia there were mines but okay so I found an information panel where it says where those mines were located um, it's uh, Borinage which is west of Mont in the center La Louvière and in the regions of Charleroi and Liège so also here there's also an interesting exposition about people looking like their pets or vice versa it's a bit funny to see all of this And this is how it looks, the museum. So we are done with the museum of Walloon life. Now we are gonna see, maybe we go to the Grand Kirches Museum. The museum of Walloon life was quite interesting because it kind of shows you how people lived here and how this region was created. I didn't know that uh, it was in 1980. So yeah, you do learn a lot. So this is the Saint Bartholomew's Church uh, from the 11th century. I don't know, is it? I think it looks Romanesque. So we have arrived at the museum. We're gonna check out what they have here. Well, they have some book collections here and also paintings. random and this was Liege in the past much more beautiful than it is now so after discovering that some places were closed some exhibitions we ended up in the weaponry museum these are um, weapons from the 19th century from Germany and these weapons were used in the First World War. These were used in the Second World War. These during the Cold War. So for example Vietnam was a conflict uh, that happened during the Cold War. And finally we have the modern weapons which are used in modern conflicts like Afghanistan, Iraq, uh, maybe also Ukraine. So we are done with that museum, I believe, <laughs> because it's a bit unclear which areas we are allowed to visit. And now we, yeah, we thought we can get a poke bowl for lunch. I don't know if it's only Liege, but uh, this looks very chaotic. It's 
full of uh, yeah construction works half of the city is just uh, close to traffic so and now we are at the palace of the bishops of uh, Liege this is how it looks so that's what we got the pocky balls they were 10 euros per piece but they are yeah full of stuff like my wife got um, one was I don't know it has many things uh, I don't know if it says here what we got uh, oh yeah this is mine yeah so I got mine with chicken spinach tomato cheese nachos corn yeah and it's it's a Hawaiian dish that got popular recently so we finished the poke bowl it was very tasty uh, and now we want to go check out the cathedral really quickly so we go to the center for that and uh, afterwards we wanted to visit the aquarium and then after that I think we just go to the car uh, it's a pity because right now it's uh, raining quite a lot you can see yeah <coughs> it's very wet and cold so um, yeah it's better to spend the time now inside but um, there's no museum nearby that we can access that we can access with our museum pass by the way here at the square next to the palace of the dukes uh, of the bishops uh, that's the surf side yeah that's the pocky bar where we bought the pocky balls here we also have the some shopping mall so we are here at the cathedral of Liege it's called the Saint Paul's Cathedral uh, it was formerly a collegiate building and once the old cathedral the ancient cathedral was from Saint Lambert was destroyed during the French French Revolution this building was uh, kind of upgraded to the status of cathedral of course this is not the original collegiate building uh, it's in the gothic style with some flamboyant uh, features like the apse it has three naves a transept a choir well actually in retrospect it might be quite big because it also goes like to the back it also has a cloister and other rooms chapels so yeah maybe it's a large cathedral so this is how it looks inside the roof is painted and you can see the three naves organ and that's the floor plan let's come a bit closer so that's how it looks we are currently here I believe yeah this might be the cloister the cathedral also has a treasury which apparently is free to visit so no apparently the treasury was not free I saw a ticket booth and a person inside so I guess you do need to pay to to see the treasures of the cathedral so this bridge takes us to the other side of the river of the mass the muse over there you have the zoological institute so institute of animals i guess so we are at the museum of the university apparently it's that building that i said is the zoological uh, institute it's basically part of the university so the lowest floor has the aquarium then 
where we are is the planetarium or something or this floor doesn't have anything oh well I mean there are several floors also about animals and plants so the first animal that we see a turtle some fish so that's the fish from Nemo with Dory they live here and then eventually they go on an adventure to Australia and these are the sharks scary well the part of the aquarium was not very big and apart from that there's not much you can see some uh, fossils or something for example a hammerfish a globefish globefish uh, what kind of fish that is eaten in japan yeah so not very interesting i would say so we are done with the <laughs> university museum uh, it was a bit disappointing but uh, yeah this is what it is at least uh, they did have toilets though they were dirty but yeah well now we are just gonna go to the car and uh, then go home because we we actually feel pretty tired but we did like Liege I mean yeah it's chaotic but the people are friendly and it has many things to offer Oh. Oh. Quite a nice place. So we are inside the car now. We're now gonna drive home and uh, yeah. We hope that you liked this video and maybe we explore more Belgian places from now on together with Dutch places and uh, yeah I think that's it in that sense see you next time bye bye